Carbon neutral energy is the future. Japan is very much interested in achieving the cutting edge in the next generation of energy solutions. Eisner was created within this framework of the Green Innovation Initiative of the Government of Japan. Eisner is an international research institute whose mission is to create new energy systems that are efficient, cost-effective, and at the same time carbon neutral. It is mission-driven, but it is fundamental science that enables these mission-driven objectives. Here in Eisner, we are exploring new ways to generate electricity. We are working in getting the next generation of solid oxide fuel cells that will employ perovskite materials. I'm working on a proton conducting perovskite. We can use the material to lower the operation temperature for solid oxide fuel cells. But at the same time, we have many challenges. Uh, for example, chemical expansion, durability, and so forth. And these are what we are tackling right now. When we solve the problem, we can attain very sophisticated solid oxide fuel cell, for example, operating at 500 degrees C at very high efficiency. One of the techniques we are using is called low energy ion scattering or LICE. We are able to analyze specifically the first atomic layer of atoms. What we have observed is that under the, the operational conditions typical for fuel cells like high temperature, the surface of the perovskite shows a specific termination due to segregation processes. We are now trying to integrate our experimental results with theoretical models. My expertise is exactly on surfaces or computational surface science. We can directly transfer a real surface, which we obtain here in Eisner from the low energy ion scattering experiments to the theoretical simulations and get very realistic reactions rates, rate constants and so on. Once we are able theoretically to explain the processes which happened on the perovskite surfaces, then this would allow us to use combinatoric and use our theoretical methods to predict novel materials. Eisner provides a really useful environment to establish your own uh, network of collaborations. It helps you to, to establish your international profile. Here within Eisner, I can work with some of the brightest minds in the experimental surface science, in experimental solid state science. I also have a lot of collaboration with Imperial College London, where I work with Professor John Kilner together. The international atmosphere of Eisner is, is very stimulating. We can work with people, for instance, from the University of Illinois, MIT, um, ETH in Zurich. We're talking with people who are at the leading edge of this type of research. Here at Eisner, we are working to come up with new concepts of fuel cells and catalysts. We developed the new electrode by using the carbonyl tube. We found that the, the, when we wrap this carbonyl tube by polymer named polybenzoinazole (PBI), the process of decoration of the carbonyl tube becomes very easy and homogeneous and efficient. Because carbonyl tube high electrochemical durability, the fuel cell becomes very high durability, especially for high temperature operation. So we want to utilize this, our technology for high temperature operation fuel cell. This is our goal. Once we come up with the next generation of fuel cells, then we have a large number of benefits. For instance, we have the so-called combined cycles, where the efficiency can be increased to unprecedented levels. We are developing a new carbon neutral energy circulation system using bio-derived alcohols. We develop a new catalyst to, to oxidize alcohol into acid, highly efficient for alcohol production from acid by utilization of electric power. We synthesize a purely anodized type titanium dioxide which can selectively reduce carboxylic acid into alcohol under ambient conditions. 
here at Eisner we have recognized that uh, the chemistry of small molecules lies behind the new energy solutions. In nature, one bacteria has many, many enzymes. All enzymes can collaborate to get the energy from all small molecules. We found very, very nice bacteria at the Aso Mountain. Our enzyme, hydrogenous S77, shows the uh, activity more than platinum. Our new catalyst can use H2 gas, CO gas for the anode, and also O2 gas and H2O2 for cathode. So we can use four small molecules as energy source. That is a just miracle way of energy. Eisner in Japan are opening up the doors of this institute so that the international community, especially young researchers, come and join us to work together in order to solve the challenges of the 21st century. <laughs>